Whenever you all are ready, could you talk through what you've built? Uh, okay, so we built uh, we built an air drum set. Um, so we got we got two drumsticks that uh, whose movements are are uh, like monitored by the MPUs, the MPU uh, sixty fifty the okay. IMUs, and um, we have a kick drum like this kick pedal um which actually uh acts like a button okay yeah like the press button and we've got um these two buttons on the on the on the stick that can like um, be used to toggle the sound that it makes oh, okay yeah like this and we've also added um visual effects um <laughs> combined with the sound we generate uh, yeah, those ones uh, are going to be uh, introduced later. Okay. So we started from building um, the sound effects. We have three different drum sounds: the hi hat, the snare, and the bass. And um, they are they are synthesized by the MPU. Uh, I'm sorry, by the Arpai Pico. Uh -huh. Yeah, and we used the Cactus Song algorithm. So we start from a, like a random noise. And then we, um, we like, um, we look back at the previous value of the random noise, and then we combine it with the currently generated value. Um, we randomly average the values, and then that's the value we we use to um, uh, to send to the deck and to be played. You said car plus strong. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. And. So um, for different sounds, we had different because um, we we looked for the the waveform of different um, drum sounds mm -hmm. and we tried to mimic them. So for for hi hat and the the snare drums, um, we have different decay rates of the of the noise. Yeah, like we decay them at different speed. Okay. So, so that makes um, the snare and the hi hat sound different. And for we use the same um, decay rate for for the snare and the bass, but we we, we applied um, a kind of moving average filter on the values we generate for for the snare and the bass. Um, and for the bass, we applied a louder window so that um, like the low pass filter is. Uh, like further into um, more aggressively. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. So for stick monitoring, um, we already we, we use that MPU sixty fifty the IMU. Uh -huh. Um. The stick is supposed to be held like this, uh, downward. Okay. Um. And it uses the gyroscope value only, um, to trigger sounds. So the idea is on a downward stroke. So if I move it like this, it won't play anything. It has to be an intentional stroke, like like that okay it triggers based on downward strokes meaning the gyroscope value is negative and also the gyroscope value has to fall in between a certain range between like 150 and well the numbers are um relative because we're scaling whatever comes out from the gyro but it has to fall within a certain range in order to be triggered um, okay and that originally we started off using the angle but the problem with using the angle is it's not very accommodating accommodating to different drum styles so like if i wanted to if i like hold my if i wanted to trigger it like if i wanted to play the drum like this yeah versus like this i should be able to sure so okay. that's why we decided to use the gyro value um yeah um and also for the kick drum so the output voltage on the kick drum it's actually sort of like it's a decaying sort of wave. It peaks at about about one volt. Our so we use an uh, comparator op amp circuit to make it act like a button press, um, compared to zero point about around zero point five volts. Okay. So if the when it when it detects a one volt uh, peak, it'll play the sound. The rest of the peaks that come from um, hitting this pedal are below zero point five volts, so they won't be detected as peaks. Which is good. So that means we only get one, uh, one sound. So this, just to make sure I understand, this generates a, an oscillating decaying voltage. Yeah. 
you're using a comparator to snap that high whenever you yeah. see it go, but okay. And then that, that bass drum sound that we're hearing is purely synthesizing. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's right? a really nice sound. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. are really, um, using a bigger speaker really makes it sound better. And there's a, there's a graphic that appears there, isn't there? Yeah, there's a, there's a little screen. Cool. Um, and yeah, Anne can explain the screen. Yeah, so, uh, we, uh, we're making virtualized, um, by, uh, uh, connecting to the uh, uh, the screen. Uh -huh. So when you uh, keep the pedal, yeah. like you are circle in the middle. Uh -huh. And then there's two sticks um, on the top and the uh, bottom, which is um, sometimes we switch them, uh, switch them, make it left and right, top and bottom. So there's a um, giant uh, gyro arrow, a gyro angle, and the complementary angle. Okay. Yeah. So the white line is the gyro, and if you like swing the stick. The sound plays on the downward slope of the... Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's a, I think that's a good explanation of how it works. Um, now we could give, like, I guess a demonstration. Sure. <laughs> so, we're going to use our air drum kit along with this uh, style of so you can play. <laughs> Connected wire. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> really nice. That's really responsive, the drumsticks. Wow. They're pretty... We, we spend a, quite a lot of time trying to get that to work. Yeah, we, we tried to use the MA channels, but finally... Um, we settled on using ISRs. Yeah. Okay. And also, um, the sticks come out of separate... Um, uh, yeah, separate DM, channels. Okay, okay. <laughs> really nice. Thank you both. Or thank all of you.